Hey there, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can lock and hide apps on your Samsung Galaxy A35 5G. Welcome back to the video. My name is Sergio. In this channel, I make life saving tech videos. So if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. And I got a bunch of cool links down below in the description. All right, let's jump right in. So I'm going to show you how you can lock and hide certain apps on your Samsung Galaxy A35. It's really simple. Um, maybe you have certain apps that you don't want uh, anyone accessing on your phone. So you can have a password on the lock screen of your phone, but then you can also have a separate password to log into certain apps. Maybe you want to put a lock on Facebook, WhatsApp, any other social media app or banking apps or any app that you don't want uh, anyone having access to. All right, so let's jump right in. First, I'm going to show you how to lock the apps. So what you have to do is you have to go to settings. Here in settings, you will scroll down to where it says security and privacy. Here in security and privacy, you will scroll down to where it says more security settings. And here in more security settings is the option up here, secure folder. Okay, so select it. Okay, uh, so we got to go ahead and hit continue to activate the secure folder here. Uh, once again, you have to give permissions uh, to all of these things here. So just hit continue and it is going to take uh, most likely a few minutes. Uh, so we'll just set it down here and let it create the secure folder. All right. So here it's asking me what type of security we want for the secure folder. So uh, you can choose either pin a uh, longer password, a pattern, or fingerprint. Um, I'm just gonna go with a pin for the purpose of the video. Let's create an easy pin. And here it's just letting you know that if you ever do forget the password or pin uh, for your secure folder, you can reset your lock by using your Samsung account. But that's only if you turn uh, this on. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn it on. It's a good idea. In case you ever forget your pin, you can just reset it through your logging into your Samsung account. So here, go ahead and confirm by hitting next. All right, and then here we have the secure folder. Okay, so I'm gonna exit out of it so we can know where it is. Okay, let's go ahead and find it. So let's swipe up, let's swipe to the side, and here is the secure folder. So now we're gonna add apps to lock them in the secure folder. So how we do that is we select secure folder, we hit the plus sign here, and then here we're gonna go ahead and select the apps that we wanna secure. Okay, so let's go ahead and do WhatsApp and Facebook, for example. Okay, once you have all your apps selected, you go ahead and hit add. Okay, as you can see, they were added uh, right there. So uh, if we lock the phone now, okay, uh, you know, if you have a password, log into your phone by putting in your password. But then once you're in the phone and you go to the secure folder, you have to enter a separate password to enter the secure folder and use your apps. So it's extra level of protection. Okay, then once you're in here, you can go into any app that you wish to use. Okay, so now let's let's take it one step further um, because as we can see, yeah, we do have Facebook and WhatsApp in the secure folder, but Facebook and WhatsApp are also here uh, readily available for anyone to access, okay? They're on the home screen, they're over here in the apps. So all we have to do is um, just tap and hold Facebook, for example, and let's hit uninstall. And then here, just confirm by hitting okay. Okay, and there you go, Facebook is uninstalled. Let's go ahead and do the same for WhatsApp. Okay, and as you can see, they're no longer here. Uh, I remember we had Facebook over here in the home screen. It is no longer here either. So uh, there is no way to access, uh, you know, Facebook or WhatsApp on your phone. Actually, you can't even tell that you have those apps anymore because they're not going to show up anywhere. The only place it's going to show up is inside the secure folder. All right. And, uh, you know, once you lock your screen to get back into the secure folder, it will always ask you for your pin. And if we enter the secure folder, as you can see, WhatsApp and Facebook are still in here. All right, sweet. So that is pretty much it. That is how you lock and then hide apps on your Samsung Galaxy A35 5G using Secure Folder. Hope this video helped you out. Go ahead and smash that like button if it did. Comment down below and let me know if it did. And that's all for this video. I'll catch you in the next one. As always, peace.